What's going on everybody? My name's Chris and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. The Denos are coming. We must go! In the last episode, we came back to save my sister and we pretty much kicked the Forsaken Fortress ass. Well, that's not true. I did die twice, unfortunately. Oh man, I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> and now we're actually right for the room. Or now we're in the room to save my sister. Oh man, we remember what happened last time. A freaking sunbird, but it's okay. It's nighttime. He's sleeping. Why did my sword just vibrate? <gasps> Big brother! The other girls look terrified. You're okay! Of course I am. I was worried. Oh man. Sal won't open that easily. What? 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 Didn't see that coming. There you go. Acting before you think, as usual. So happy. I swear, do you even realize that we had to draw that monster bird off for you? Oh, that's why the sunbird wasn't here. It was about to come flying in here after you again. What? I don't even know what she's looking at, but there was like no center there. She was like looking at my neck. It's like, oh my god, that sword. Oh, she's looking at the sword. Where did you get that? Are you. Is that even possible? How could it be? Hmm, well, never mind that. For now, we'll just take these girls and sell them for ransom. Ransom. I'm sure their followers back and tell them will pay a handsome reward for their return. Whoa, I, wow. <laughs> Oh, thank God her skirt, you can't look up it. Ah, oh, sister. And by the way, the one henchman she doesn't have here, like the, the big flamboyant guy, I actually read a fact that he's actually the strongest in the entire crew. Which is weird. I'm so sorry to interrupt such a harrowing reunion. Oh, I love the music change here as well. And the epic, like, pointing up with her entire hand. Is there still something you need to take care of? Oh my God, so awesome. You're worried about your sister? Don't be. I promise I'll deliver her back safely to your little island. Normally, I expect a huge reward for something like this, but this time it's my treat. Listen, Errol, your brother still has some things to take care of. Big, important, grown-up things. He'll be back soon, so you just wait nice and quiet until he returns, okay? What? Big brother? Uh. Miss Tantra, we have to hurry, the bird will be here any second! Gonzo, excellent, you're just in time. Take this one for me. How the heck did he walk through the entire fortress this quickly? Huh? But she's... She's what? She's fine. Just do as you're told. I don't understand what they're trying to say there. She's what? Their grandma won't pay for her or something? Big brother! <laughs> I love how Tetra just truts after him. Link. We'll be back. I swear it. We'll be back. Wait for me. <laughs> Excuse me. <gasps> the sunbird. Nope, the seagulls did not decide to follow Ariel, which is weird. Why would they lock it on me? Like, oh, you're dead, Link. They're trying to kill me? Oh, my grandma can't afford my sister. Oh my god, so awesome. Oh, I love this boss fight so much, guys. It's time to fight the sunbird with only not much health left. Alright, so, the entire first thing... We need to get to higher ground because that water is rising up. I don't understand how. It's not like the island's sinking. I guess it's just being pumped in, which is a little weird to be fair. Okay. But honestly, it's best to just ignore everybody. And, uh, yeah, keep running because the bird destroys the bridges. Actually, very quickly. <laughs> I don't know. What's, what's in this? Oh, I like how there's, like, little doors there that don't really lead to anything. Eh. Get out of here! Seriously? You blocked my way. No! Don't pick up the sword! Good lord. If you do. Oh man. If you do miss like this, or if you're not quick enough. Well, oh, if you don't if you're not quick enough, the bird will attack you. you actually grapple across, we're down to half a heart. This is really scary. Oh man, so very scary. <laughs> yeah, each time the bird destroys the platforms like this, there is a spot for you to grapple. Hello. Guess what, asshole? I have a hammer! 
yes drown asshole drown and normally that's a lot cooler looking because the water is way higher is it still flooding or does it stop i'm actually curious about that no we can't even get a good look can we okay oh no the spotlights are moving again but how but why impossible is it actually oh i can't oh it's not gonna zoom out enough Bye bye, bird. Enjoy your watery grave, asshole. What? All oh, those feathers. All right, guys. It's time to face a fierce, the sun bird. We are fighting the sun god itself. Raw, the wing dragon. Raw. Is that what he's called? All right. So we want to get a good look at him here. Watch what he's doing. Yeah, we can lock onto his top here. I don't want to use your hammer. When he does that, the beat gets stuck, and then take the opportunity to go BAM! And if you take a look, his uh, shield is starting to crack. Where is he? Uh oh. I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's coming back down. I hope he does his other attack. He has a few attacks. Alright, I'm trying to be very cautious here. Can we get another look at his. No, uh, well, it cracked more. <laughs> trust me, trust me, trust me. Shh, shh, shh. What you doing, bird? Oh, he's still not doing another attack, hey? Oh, look at this cracking beak now, huh? What are you gonna do about punk? Ugh! Still not, hey? I thought it only took three hits. I guess it takes six in total if you count the one we hit him when he was sticking his head in my face before. Whoa, that's his other attack. Okay, it looks a lot more cooler when he doesn't, doesn't just freaking go into the building like that. That's kind of lame. Wish they kind of thought about that. Ooh. Okay, that looks really dumb when that happens. <laughs> I swear it looks cool, cool most of the time. I want, it shouldn't even just it should just not attack you from that direction. Well, I was complaining about. Ah, oh, seriously, every single time, bird. Jesus, some bird's stupid. It's because he's always in the sun. He's always like hot. He's like, ah! My brain's been melted or something. I don't freaking know. Alright. Just hit me. Hit down the beak. No? Oh, God. Okay. I want to be careful here. He's just his floppy flaps to an advantage. Which, that's not very powerful, actually. I'm kind of disappointed, to be fair. Oh, you're not going to... Okay. Did I just not do something right there? I got the spotlights follow him, too. Oh, I've never noticed that. That's cool. Okay, I gotta say this is pretty scary doing on half a heart All right Leave the smack down on me brother Yes BAM Oh, I actually gotta say Doesn't look as cool with his armor off. I think it looks a lot more badass with his armor off, but I guess that's kind of the point of armor as well Be intimidating and also help. Whoa, whoa, I know he stomps Holy crap! Cool! Okay, apparently I don't want to do that. Then he won't stab his beak down. I also like how his feathers float down on the battle arena like this as well. Oh, I don't know where he is. Okay. I guess I want to stand this far enough away. Oh, good lord, I thought he was about to smack his beak down. Alright! Smash, smash, smash! Oh, no! No, 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 no! Good god! That was suck! That was suck! Come on. Come on! Ah. Yeah, once you do a certain amount of damage, you will fly back up into the sky so very high. I don't know where he is. But I saw him. Oh! oh my god, that scared the hell out of me! I gotta say, scared the hell out of me! I'm supposed to be Yogi Bear. Can you guys tell? <laughs> so dumb. Alright. Okay, I wasn't sure if he's swooping down there or if he was trying to land. Alright. Yes! Yes! We did it, guys! I can't believe I did that on half a heart! I didn't get hit by him once! Yes! Oh, this is so cool. All the spotlights on him. Awesome opossum! Our heart piece! Yeah! <laughs> ah ha ha! Yeah! What if I use my grappling hook on him? I would have gotten like a. Um, I'm uh, a uh, golden feather. <laughs> you got a heart container. Your life energy is increased by one. Plus, your life gauge has been replenished. Yay! 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 
Look at all the feathers gently float down. I think they disappear too. At least they did in the original game. I don't know if they still will. I kind of feel like they shouldn't just because, you know. Oh, there's rocks. Oh, these are skulls. Is there skulls as well? Are these all rocks? You know what? I'm pretty sure in the original game these were skulls and then they would blow around the arena as the bird would flap his wings. I'm actually like more than sure of that. Alright, you guys. The only time we were ever in this area was when the bird took flew us up here after we tried to save our sister the first time. And this is where we saw Ganon himself standing around at the speed of sound. He stood right here and it was like, nod his head and that's when I got thrown. Now who's standing here, huh? Huh, asshole? That's weird that you can't see the sea from here. It's kind of stupid, actually. You should be able to. There's no reason. There's no reason. Oh, I love this tribal. Ah, oh, it looks so freaking badass. It's my, it's my favorite. It's my jam. If that's not the thumbnail for this episode, well, to be honest, it might be the bird dying, because that's pretty awesome as well. Although you don't really get a good shot of it in this game. I feel like it was more zoomed in. Let's look at that. Oh, this is the Sheikah Eye. Cool. Pirate flag, just random skulls. Oh, the swords. The Bokublin swords. Are those spears of the Moblins? Or is, maybe they're not. Oh, yeah. I think... Well, those are just normal-looking spears, actually. And there's torches. It looks like there's blood on the walls, but they just might be paint. What's the symbol on the door here? No one ever really takes the time to examine this. I don't know what that is. Just a, just a design, I guess. All right. Go inside. Let's fight Gandorf and beat the game. I think you guys really know what happens here. Let's take a look at this room, too. Because we don't really get a chance to see it. Nice skeleton lamps. It's been a while, boy. You have done well to sneak into my fortress and wiggle your way all the way up here. What do you mean sneak into your fortress? I came here and kicked everybody's ass. And died multiple times. But I still kicked your sunbird's ass with a half a heart. I suppose the least I could do is commend you for your reckless courage. My name is Bob. And I'm the master of the Forsaken Fortress. <laughs> I'm so shocked and intimidated. My butthole's ready. By the way, boy, when you drew that sword of yours out of the pedestal, did you by chance notice how all the monsters frozen in time down there suddenly began stirring again? <gasps> do you understand precisely what that means? I highly doubt you do. Foolish child. If that sword is indeed the Blade of Evil's Bane, at the same time, it's long... It has long since played another role. You see, it also acts as sort of a key. A most wretched little key that has kept the seal on me and my magic intact. But with drawing the blade, you have broken the seal. He looks like a pig. Haha. <laughs> Which I guess he is. He's a pig demon. Kill him! Ooh, kill him! We did it! Well then. So did Link just not hit him there? It kind of looks like he's too far away to even hit him. Or maybe he just hit him and did nothing. <laughs> bitch slap! <laughs> Everyone's favorite bitch slap. Oh, good lord. You cannot defeat me with a blade that does not sparkle with the power to repel evil. What you hold is useless. Does anyone know the inscriptions on his blades as well? Go back to the world below and tell it to the pathetic fool who made that blade. Its power is gone, and its edges are dull. Huh? <gasps> Tetra! Tetrahedron! He he. Tetrahedron? How do you? Uh... Link, get up! Draw your dagger! Uh, stop! Let let me go! Oh, come on, Link! Cut his arm off now! Pathetic little sea rat! I don't know what he hoped to accomplish here. He's already grabbed her by the neck. <gasps> my my trade for some power is resonating. <laughs> At long last, I have found you, Princess Zelda. What? What are you talking about? I don't know any Zelda. Feigning ignorance will gain you nothing. Tell me, if you're not Zelda, then why do you have a fragment of the Triforce? What is going on? What? Birdman? Birdman? Birdman! It's the Birdman! It's the Birdman! Oh my god! <gasps> oh my good lord. He is so fat in those wings, dude. I, I don't know if those wings should be able to. I like how he's smiling, man. It's 
like he doesn't give a single shit. Oh yeah, burn that entire thing to the ground or the ocean. The dragon is so derpy looking. <laughs> Yay! He's dead! He's dead, Jim! Why are we here? What? Oh, this is so cool. Seeing the dragon just perch on the Tower of the Gods like this. I guess she t passed out from um, Ganon choking her. Huh, I never thought about that before. It's alright, Link. She has merely lost consciousness. His sister has escaped the Forsaken Fortress with the pirates. You can relax. She's safe now. I don't know if that's Prince Kamali talking or not. Lord Valu, you arrived not a moment too soon. We are deeply grateful. <laughs> I am aware of this. Yet, I thought our first priority should be to separate those two from Ganon's grasp. Alright, bye! Dragon looks so derpy. Honestly, it's mostly just his wings that look really stupid. If it was one for his wings, I'd be okay with his design. <laughs> oh, we got a nice asshole shot of Valu. And by the way, I mean, if you guys haven't noticed, I am voicing, well, very clearly I'm voicing um, the, the Hy Hylian text. But if you're curious enough to find out what the text actually says, it is my voice reversed. Uh, so I'm actually saying the actual English lines are saying, but I just reversed them and maybe add effects. I don't know. I haven't done that yet. Uh, Link, I'll explain things later. Now he must return to the world beneath the sea. Well, I guess the fish was right. I am returning here already. Probably returning every like third episode or some crap. Tetrahedron. Hey, girl. Ow. Link, you all right? What is this place? Hey, and Ganondorf, what happened to him? <laughs> I'm trying to act all cool. Link, what are you doing? You must come now to the room where you got the master. Who's what? Who's using that stone? Just who are you? Look at are the only ones who could speak to this. That is not true at all. How dare you use what's not yours? Your name is Tetra, correct? You must come with Link to see me at once. Hmm. Well, don't you just sound important? Fine, run away. Just hold your horses to whoever you are. Link, what are you waiting for? You heard the stone. You're supposed to show me how to get to where that voice is. Uh, boat? Boat? What are you doing? Show the What the heck? I can't even get back in it. Is this a different boat? What the balls? It's so weird. Like, the King of Red Lions is the only... <laughs> uh, everyone does it. It's so easy for Tetra to get derped up. I was kind of hoping they would maybe improve her AI so she doesn't get stuck like this, but apparently not. It's... It's... <sighs> so bad. Let's see if we get her stuck in other ways. <laughs> in other ways. Oh... Oh, she can't go this way? Come on, Tetra. Oh, she go this way, though. Great. Come, come under here. It'll be great. Let's kiss another bridge. It'll be beautiful. Mwah. <laughs> Did I get her stuck? I think I got her stuck. Where is she? Ah, so stupid. I don't... Oh, she ran in circles. I just completely broke her. <laughs> I'm going to chase my tail. I'm going to get my tail. I got it. I got it. <laughs> so stupid thank you guys so much for watching this episode oh she get out oh, oh she didn't thank you guys so much for watching this episode if you enjoyed please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you're not ready my name's chris <laughs> the next one maybe tetra will finally catch her tail thank you guys so much for watching goodbye